In this video, I am going to guide you through the process of configuring Samplitude 11 with the recently released Garitan Personal Orchestra 4, which features the new ARIA player. This guide should also be compatible with Samplitude 10 and Samplitude Music Studio. I'll begin by selecting the first track and clicking on the MIDI tab. This reveals the MIDI inspector panel. Click on the MIDI out slot and under New Instrument select GPO ARIA, Garitan and ARIA Player Multi VST. This is the multi-channel virtual instrument routing dialog. Make sure you select multi-channel create new tracks for instrument outputs. Under extended options select stereo mono standard and make sure audio and MIDI combined tracks also send MIDI is ticked. We now have the brand new shiny Garitan ARIA player open and ready to go. First thing to do is assign the MIDI outputs in Samplitude. If you look at the MIDI output for track 1 it is set to all channels. We need to assign that MIDI output channel to channel 1. Now I'm selecting track 2 and routing the MIDI out to channel 2. Then it's a matter of reassigning each track incrementally to MIDI output channels 1 to 16. It won't be long before this method becomes more user friendly and streamlined. A future Samplitude update will include automatic MIDI output assignment for multi output VSTIs. So the need to reroute the channels this way will be a thing of the past. Incidentally, I have left the MIDI input set to all channels. This should be ok with most keyboard controllers, but in some cases you may need to adjust your keyboard's MIDI output to match the Samplitude MIDI input. So now we have all the channels assigned incrementally, and as I move from track 16 back to track 1 you can see the MIDI channels changing to match the audio output assignments. The Garitan ARIA player has 16 instrument slots and the MIDI input channels have already been pre-routed in an ascending order, that's channels 1 up to 16. At the moment the audio outputs for all slots are set to outputs 1 and 2. We need to reassign these outputs, so I'm going to do this until all instrument slots have been rerouted incrementally in an ascending order. Try saying that after a few beers. This will then match the audio outputs of the Garitan ARIA player with the audio inputs of the Samplitude mixer, giving us a straight one-to-one -one routing. VSTI multi-output routing has a few advantages. You can add Samplitude FX to individual channels, plus you could also render the MIDI tracks into audio at a later stage by either freezing or bouncing them to WAV files, including 32-bit float, that's finished, and now we have 16 discrete stereo outputs routed into Samplitude. You can use the up and down arrow key on your computer keyboard to move between tracks. You'll notice that when a track is selected that the record enable and monitoring buttons are automatically turned on for that track. This is very useful and can be enabled by right clicking on the monitor button on the transport. Make sure you have automatic MIDI record switch on current track and automatic MIDI monitoring through ticked. And of course you need the monitoring button turned on so you can hear what you're playing. If I click on the mixer tab you can see the 16 stereo audio channels complete with colour coding. These will receive the input signals from the ARIA player. You can hide different elements of the mixer by left clicking on the downward arrow. I'm going to move the mixer down to the bottom and drag the ARIA player to the top. Select the next track using the keyboard shortcut or the mouse and you can see the mixer updates to reflect the track selection as well. Likewise you can click on a track label on the mixer to select that track and the selection will be updated in the VIP also. So now we're ready to load some sounds. To load a sound you just left click where it says empty and you can make your selection from the drop down list. I'll begin by choosing the first sound which will be the alto flute. If you want to add some effects just left click on the effects tab. 
I think I'll go for Cathedral for this. Back to the mixer and I'll turn up the effects send for the flute. Left click slot 2 on empty and I'm going to select under woodwinds English horn. Turn up the ambience send. Make sure you have track 2 selected. Same again with slot 3. I think I'll go for contrabass clarinet solo for this. Turn up the send. Through the miracle of video editing, all 16 slots are now loaded with sounds. Now I can quickly audition those sounds by using the arrow key to move through the tracks. So there you have it, all 16 channels working and fully loaded and ready to roll. I'm going to save that as a multi-channel preset, so go to the plugin menu and select Bank Save and open the GPO ARIA folder in the VST plugin folder and I'm going to save it as a multi-out bank. Or you could just save it as an empty bank with all the multiple output assignments so you can open it when you need to use that setup. It's also possible to save this entire configuration as a template in Samplitude. Just click on Save Project as Template. Now when I open a new virtual project, go to the Project Template list and select Samp GPO ARIA Template. And now that entire configuration will be reloaded as before. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and until next time, goodbye for now.